guys welcome to my channel if it's your first time here my name is Nobu Kumalo welcome and if you're coming back welcome back <music> for responding to the call to subscribe our subscribers have gone up and passed 800 we surely are on the road to 1k and on that note right i think this is my 35th video if i'm not mistaken and it was one of those where i was like oh my gosh i don't feel like showing up you know have you ever had those things where like you committed to yourself that you're going to do this thing consistently but then on some days you're just like i really really don't feel like doing it but I promised myself that I would show up and make sure that there's a video out every Monday and every Thursday. So this is me showing up, you know, even when I don't feel like showing up. But anyway, when I was thinking, when I was going through, you know, the thoughts about not feeling like showing up and all that, one thing came to my mind, which is the value and the power in consistency, right? So as usual, whenever something comes up in my mind, Dr. Google to the rescue, I went in there and I thought, hmm, let me, let me see what a few people have said about consistency and what value they found in consistency. And a quote that kept, you know, popping up is a, a quote by Anthony Robbins, which actually says, it's not what we do once in a while that shapes our lives, it's what we do consistently. And I thought, hmm, that, that, that's very, that's very deep. Think about it, think of the many things that you, you started, like maybe you, you started on a weight loss thing and then you kept it going for like two or three weeks and then you stopped. And then now you're back where you know, you know where, where you began and i think it just fits into that theme that you you can't change your life you can't change your habits you can't change your lifestyle you can't change things about you without being consistent which 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 means showing up even when you don't feel like showing up right that that is consistency having the discipline to say i don't feel like doing it today and i'm not in the same frame of mind i was at when i committed to doing this but i'm going to show up anyway so i've actually even had some people when i you know when i put up my post whether it's on whatsapp or instagram whenever i saying that there's a video out I've, I've heard a lot of people say to me oh my gosh you're so consistent how do you do and i'm like hmm, if only you knew how hard it is to keep showing up right but it's, it's deciding to even when even when you don't feel like it. And so I found three principles of consistency that I think changed my my outlook on why it's important to be consistent. I mean, I knew that it's important to be consistent, but I didn't really have, you know, I didn't really think about why it's, imp it's, it's important. I didn't really think about what value consistency has. And so I think these ones might be helpful to you. So the first one is value actually right so consistency in your efforts and your actions will start to develop you know value in the things that you do so i'll give you an example right when i started you know doing youtube it just take me forever to edit videos you know learning the the software and and you know just being new at it it took me like forever to do the same thing i was doing it week in week out but it was still rather slow but now i told you like this is my 35th video i think and, and now there's some things that are literally like second nature, right? I can even do them in my sleep. You know, I know how to, to add transitions. I know how to, you know, I know where to cut. I know where to breathe. And even in front of the camera, I used to like record multiple takes, especially of the first part of, 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 of the video, which is the introductory part. But now because I've done it so, so many times, I don't even have a script written, but I, I know that once I sit in front of the camera, this is what I'm going to say. This is how I'm going to introduce myself. So I'm slowly seeing the value in showing up each time. And you know, each time I show up, I get better and better. It's not that you show up today, then tomorrow I automatically better, but it's like, it's like like compounding. You know how compounding interest works? I think it's, a, it's in the same vein here that little by little, by putting in the work, by showing up, little by little, you get better um, each and every day. And, and you know, there's this principle about, you know, getting better, you know, 1% each and every day. And how at the end of the, you know, at the end of the year, you're about like 36 or so, forgive them as time is better than you were when you started so it's the small little actions that you do repeatedly add value and help you in becoming efficient over a period of time and 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 before you know it those things that would normally take up a lot of your time take a short time and free you up to do other things that matter to you and then the other thing that i've that i've learned is that you know to be consistent you need patience you you need to be able to wait it out to have those times where you're putting in the work, you're showing up each time, but like the results don't seem to be coming. I think a, a, 
a good example that I can think of whenever I think about patience and consistency is definitely the weight loss one. Like I've, I've, I've had people say, oh, I've been at it for two or three months and like nothing's happening, right? And I think a lot of us tend to then fall into the trap of, oh, it's, it's not working. So like I quit. But consistency needs you to be patient and to believe that even though you can't see the benefits, even if you can't see the results right now, with time they are going to show up and and you you just need to wait it out and and especially for example for things like weight loss i always say that when people then say oh, oh so two months is too short so how long should i give it i always say that how about you not put a timeline to it and let it happen at its own pace and its own course and and i think it's the same with anything really the moment that you try to put timelines usually you get frustrated and you're, you're probably going to fall into the, the trap of giving up because you the results are not showing up when you expect now i must put a disclaimer that there are some goals that you kind of need a a you know a, a certain timeline for or a deadline for that we're not talking about those ones but i'm talking about those that 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 lean on just trusting the process and, and and giving a thing time to mature and to yield results and then finally i find that you you kind of need to believe that the thing that you're trying to do is going to work right it's hard to be consistent in something when you don't believe that it's actually going to work so put aside the how long it will take put aside the obstacles that you might face in making it work i think you need to believe in the fact that it will actually work i remember for for example like when i started youtube right i remember the first 10 subscribers oh yay finally the end then you reach the first hundred and you're like great but i could kind of tell that this is still people that i know right people my friends or my family or acquaintances people in my sphere of influence right and then i think when i got to about 200 or 250 i was like okay now at this point i i think literally everyone i know who could subscribe has subscribed right and it would have been very easy for me to then think oh my gosh now everyone i know has subscribed so there's a good chance that like 250 is where it's you know it's going to end and at that point probably i might have like given in the towel and thought what's the point but i had to believe that one day we're going to hit that 1000 subscriber mark and now i literally at 830 something and like each each week i have tons of people i don't know even on instagram there's people who reach out and like we enjoy your content these are people that i don't know and and the content is pushing itself out in its own way well i know youtube and the algorithm and all that but it's it's it's, it's because i believe that it's so far-fetched i don't know a thousand people who'd want to hear from me but it is possible if i just put in the work if i'm dedicated to it if i show up even when i, when I don't feel like showing up you know it's going to yield results so it's very important that the goal or whatever you're trying to to achieve is something that you strongly and firmly believe is possible and i think to wrap it all up you need to have a why why are you doing what you're doing i find that if you don't have a bigger why it's hard for you to even, you know, to wait it out to have the patience. It's hard for you to believe that it will work. It's hard for you to, you know, extract value from it because there's no motivation behind it. So you, you need to, to see it and strategically think about why is this thing important to me? And I believe once the, it has a value system attached to it, you, you, are, you have a bigger incentive to, you know, go out there and, and make it work. So I, this is just a short one this week to just say, I know we've, we've all been there, we just don't show it, but we all go through moments where we have to do things that we don't feel like doing, but because we've committed to it and because there's a bigger why and there's a, you know, a reason why, we, we show up and we, and we do them each time. And I think for me, the other thing has been the fact that I know that if a video doesn't come out, someone out there is going to ask me why there's no video and i think it's important to have an accountability partner if you're going to try and be consistent in what you do you know that person is going to nudge you and say what's going on you you're falling off you know you're, you're slacking here pick up the slack and that person is going to to motivate you and encourage you even when you don't feel like showing up so have those people that can push you and make sure that you know you're consistent and that you're always showing up uh, in your work so whatever it is that you're struggling with, whatever it is that you dropped the ball on this past week, please pick it up again and give it another try and, and, and think of the three principles, which are value, patience, and belief. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, engage in the comment section as always, and bigger than anything, please subscribe. I wish you a lovely rest of the week and I'll see you guys again next time. Goodbye.